guys, this is Try Tuesdays, and I'm Devraj. Today I want to try to sample the resonance of a harp. But first, let's talk about what is involved in changing the harp. And even before that, side note, I got engaged recently. Woo! <laughs> So, if you want to be congratulatory, now's your time. If you don't, then fuck you. In other news, I am moving to Paris on the 28th of this month. So, <laughs> super fun time, butters. <laughs> what I have to say is, there is a harp next to me. Why is there a harp next to you? Today we're going to experiment with a harp. <laughs> Not sure how many of you have ever touched a harp. Touch it, bring it. This is a folk harp. It's a little different. The difference is regular harps have pedals. They move the strings tighter and looser. Tighter and looser. If we change the strings from their regular sounding point with these levers, <laughs> this harp's levers, which press against the string, raise the string and don't actually give it the ability to make a note flat, only sharp. So, for instance, we have or raise the lever and same string. In case you're wondering, all of the red strings are C. All of the blue strings are F. So, it's not at this moment C enough because I've tuned it down to be in a different key that I prefer. Cheeky. Case in point, what happens if you tune this lower one up a half step? Now both strings are the same pitch. This gives you the ability to skip some things in the scale, so you don't have to have an entire scale when you do this. It's pretty. It's so pretty. But what if we add something to it? Let's say, for instance, I leave all the C's and F's down and pull everything else up. So let's give this a try. Damn, son. I like that a lot better. Today, I wanted to try and sample the resonance. after I played it. That sound right there. One more time. Love that sound. Problem is, the resonance is constantly decaying in sound, right? So I wanted to be able to play with it a little bit, and so I ended up just sampling the resonance. Cut out everything else, and it sounds like this. It's a pretty short sample, right? Bullshit. Am I right, ladies? So, the question is, how do you lengthen this? I ended up using Logic Pro and started to play with automation and a lot with the HQing. Basically dealing with the harmonics, trying to get things to sound evenly. Sometimes I feel the need to move on. And also automating the HQ so that rather than there being a decay to the sound, it just sounds constant. Be able to loop it, the sound, over and over again. But be able to play with it in such a way that it doesn't sound like decay, decay. Like it's just a broken record stuck on something. So, this. Which I love this sound. This is fantastic. And this is kind of what I was hoping to achieve. Tighter and looser. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I'm hoping to have a lot more every Tuesday. I'm Devraj. Thanks for watching. So gay. Unless, of course, you're into that. This was fun. I'm gonna do it again. I can't. It's too big. Well, you say that.